Anytime I go to a range, indoor or outdoor, I always bring good eye protection and ear protection. There is a medical kit standing by in case enemy accidents or boo-boos and all safety protocols are observed. Welcome back to my pupils. This is Gene coming to you with Reboom from the Hot Pot. Hey, I'm out here on the range today. I'm gonna do some shooting, shooting, shooting. Brought a couple different things to shoot, but I wanted to share this with you. I picked up a pair of X-Core from Axel. These new Ear Pro. Now I picked these up on the Labor Day sale and I saved 50% off. So I got these for 100 beans through their Labor Day sale. I'm always looking for different Ear Pro and I have quite a few different sets that I take to the range with me. But today, I'm going to be shooting with these. And after this, we're going to go back on the bench, talk about them, and I'll show you all the different ear pro that I take to the range for my shooting. Yes, I am at a gun range, and yes, there is live fire going on. <laughs> Gotta love the pew pew. All right, my pupils, I'm going to be using these today, and then we'll go back on the bench. Uh, take them apart, look at all the accessories that come with them, and compare them with my other Ear Pro. Well, we're back here on the bench with the Ear Pro. Now, I wore these Axel X cores today at the range. Um, gonna throw in a couple little shots here of me shooting with them in so you can see how small they really are. So, here's one now. I was very, very pleased with these Axel X cores. Very pleased. They come in a nice case. Get this unzipped here. Comes with the instruction manual. It comes with a host of other earpieces depending on your application. The foamy ones are for sound suppression and the more rubbery ones, which are over here, are more for listening to music or just being around the shop all day. This package is made in such a way so it can be resealed. So if you take one out or a pair out of there, you can reseal it back up and it holds it in there very nicely. They come in a rechargeable case. Now this case is very small, so you're going to want to keep them in this case uh, to store them in so you don't lose this. It does come with a USB-C charging cable, which is very short. It's good if you're going to sit it on a desk or something, but when you open these up, the little axle logo lights up there, and you take these out, and the little green comes on, lets you know that it's on. Then you wind these up a little bit to make that foam a little bit smaller, put it in your ear, twist it back, and then it insets. Now, these were very, very comfortable today. Very comfortable. I didn't have any issues with them. And you know, if you're an avid shooter, it's really hard to find something that's comfortable on your ears. You know, I've, I've just purchased these. I have another pair of the Axle. I forget what these are called. These have been pretty beat up. What I don't like about these is, see this peeling here? See that? Pe that's from sunblock spray that has gotten on these on my neck. And it's just made that black just peel off of there. What I don't like about these is I'm all, I'm constantly fiddling with them and the, the earpieces are fine for my ear size. They, they fit nicely, but I feel like I have to fiddle with them all the time. And then this cord gets on the back of your neck and it's just, it's, it's an irritating, it's annoying sometimes. Partway through a stage, I can feel that I get caught up in my shirt and it just throws me off my game completely. So I really don't like wearing these at, at the, at the range too much. They're okay, but that sunscreen spray starting to make that black peel off and then just, you know, just that cord, man, just, it just annoys me, annoys me. I have another set of decibels. This is the pair with the sound suppression inserts in them. Now, these are a little pricey, but they are very nice. They do come with a cord, you know, so you can keep a hold of them. But again, you've got another cord to deal with. So, uh, 
if you want to keep a hold of them, you got to keep them on the cord. Now I've got the cord all wrapped up here. See if I can get this thing untangled. Sometimes it's a bit of a mess. You know, if, if you shoot avidly at competitive sports or in, indoor ranges or anything, or just shoot period, and you're wearing ear wear, you know the struggles of these. Now, these are semi-custom fit where you put them into hot water and then you mold them to your ear. So they do fit very nice. But again, you've got a cord to deal with. These are my walkers over the ear protection, ear muffs. I got a really good deal on these, but these are uncomfortable. And they start to smash your ears after a while. Um, during a hot day, your ears will just sweat. Uh, even on a cold day, sometimes these will just make your ears sweat. And it doesn't matter what kind of pads you purchase for these uh, outside of this vinyl here. They're still annoying. And who wants to get gamer head? You know, you've seen those videos of these longtime gamers getting actual... Uh, <laughs> a dent in their head from wearing headphones so much so these are good for indoor use i use it these these at the indoor range mainly um, i really don't wear them unless it's like freezing cold outside and i want my ears to sweat <laughs> you know what i mean about that i also have a pair of these ear more now these ear more are really really good earplugs the only thing i don't like about these ear mores is they do not have volume control they have on and off and they have indoor and outdoor settings but they do not have any type of volume control on them and they do get pretty nasty you might want to clean your case once in a while gene <laughs> but they have a, they have a charge time of about three hours and then you have to put them back in the case now this is a rechargeable case and it does have a usb-c uh, charging cable port you know, I use Android phones and all my stuff is USB-C. So anything outside of that, I'm really not interested in. But these are really good. Now, I picked these up on sale for around 50 beans. And I've been happy with them. Um, I shoot with them for a few hours. I put them back in the case. I put my headphones back on or my axles back in until these finish charging up. Then they're good for the rest of the day. So they do require one charge during a range day especially shooting competitive sports where you're out there from seven in the morning until two to three in the afternoon. So you will have to recharge these. These new axles, X-Cores, they claim that they will last six to eight hours and the case itself will recharge the, the earpieces twice. After plugging these in and getting a full charge on them, you can recharge these earpieces two more times before you have to recharge them and case up again. So that's really nice. I'm very pleased with these so far. So out of everything that I have, the earmore, the decibels, the axles, and the walkers. Now, the walker little earplug pros, I do not like them. I had a set of them and I sold them. I mean, I, I used them one time and I was very disappointed in them. Most of them use um, the hearing aid batteries. And the hearing aid batteries have a very short lifespan. You have to put a brand new pair in before, before you go into the range. And you may have to change them halfway through the day. So I'm not very pleased with those. The over-the-ear walkers are fine. The ear more are fine. These, anything with a cable on it, it just seems to be a, like a pain in the booty. Man, it just really... And then sunscreen actually ate the finish off of these. It's just peeling off. Look at that. Just creating dust. Very disappointed. Very disappointed with these axles. I can see why they come up with these. Most definitely. Very happy with them. I would highly recommend these. They have USB-C charging port. Then you know you get three usages out of them before you have to recharge the whole case and, and the uh, Ear Pro again. I'm happy with them. They're designed by Axel, made in China. Well, what isn't made in China? I think everything right here on the bench was made in China, and that's okay because well, Chinese do make some very good stuff. I mean, my house is full of made in China. I even got a made in China Bubba Blade. <laughs> I'm very happy with it. That. that thing's sharp. But that's it for this little uh, 
ear pro session yeah this is my ear pro session so i want to thank you very much for watching i greatly appreciate you it's your ears it's your money it's your ear pro choose what you want i've been trying different things to find out what's most comfortable for me and what i'm finding to be durable and not durable all right my pupils thank you very much for watching i greatly appreciate you and always remember to keep blowing that smoke